Hello there, my name is Sean and this is Squirtbox, my 2002 Mini Cooper R50. So this is just basically a video log of me going through the car, what I plan to do with it. First of all, the question I need to ask, oh, need to answer really, is why Mini Cooper? Why this? Why an R50? Well, I'm British, and most British car guys they usually end up having a Mini at some point in their car career. I never really had any interest in a Mini until I tried test drove one back in 2021, I think it was, or 22, and I took it for a test drive, and I was initially just smiles, smiles per hour. I loved the car, enjoyed it. So I thought, right, I want one for myself. So I found this one. So this is Squirtbox. It, like I said, it's a 2002 Mini Cooper R50. It's got a 1.6 litre engine, front wheel drive, handles like a bloody go car, and it's the most fun you'll ever have for under a thousand pounds. So I'll explain how much I paid for this afterwards. But first of all, I'm going to go through what's up the car what I need to do to it to get it to the standard I wanted at and we'll go from there so please sit back enjoy the video all right so I'm going to go through the basics of the car um, as you can see it's a three-door coupe and really when an initial looks it's actually not too bad but going through the car go around the car itself you could probably see there is a few things that are not uh, not right uh, first of all I'm going to be honest the roof needs a lot of attention so as you can see there the little boot spoiler it's got has actually got uh, lack of peel so it needs uh, needs working on on there and also there's a couple of problems with the roof up here so like there's a bit of discoloration there and a bit of paint but lack of peel there and there's a well not a noticeable dent but you know it's there so that's the roof. Now what I plan to do with that one is the cheap, cheap and easy fix, which is a vinyl wrap. So I'm going to take off the bonnet, the boot spoiler, and I'm going to wrap the, the roof in a nice, nice matte black finish, just to give it a bit of contrast because it's shiny down here. So I'm going to keep this shiny, but this, I'm going to replace this with some nice matte black paint, uh, matte black vinyl. If I don't go for matte black, gloss is going to be the next one. So, next thing I want to focus on while we're at this end of the car is these. These are the original lights. As you can see, scuffed to buggery, water's getting inside, and it generally just doesn't look nice. So, I've had a look online, and there's actually a set of, uh, there's actually a nice set of Union Flag uh, rear lights you can get. They're LED as well, which makes it even better. So that, that's a, that's one thing I'm going to do. And also, I'm going to get the exhaust upgraded. Get a nice free-flowing exhaust. Uh, something gives it a bit more of a burble. This actually does give it a nice burble, but I want to give it some more. So we'll go from there. Going on to the wheels. Uh, as you can see, they're the five five spoke star wheels. Uh, I'm not particularly a big fan of five spoke wheels anyway. Uh, so I have actually found some wheels I'm going to put on it, and it's going to be Cooper S wheels, the, the Crown Cooper S wheels, which actually look pretty good. Now, I'm going to probably keep these wheels anyway, because they've got some good winter tyres on them. So that, that'll be good for, I can swap the wheels over in winter. But the, the, the wheels I'm going to do, I'm actually going to put, uh, get them powder coated. I'm thinking of gunmetal grey to contrast, you know, to give it a bit more contrast. But we'll, we'll see how it looks once I, once I get the wheels. Now, looking at the front of the car, now you look at it initially, the bonnet doesn't look too bad, but there is actually some problems with it. So, as you can see here, stone chip there, dent and a stone chip there and there, and multiple stone chips around here. Now, there's a couple of things I can do with that. Uh, one, the simplest and easiest, is just replace the bonnet. Secondly, I could get the dents fixed, get the paint fixed, and respray the whole thing. Or I could wrap it. Or what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bonnet off, and the Cupress bonnet's going on it. Uh, I do actually plan to do some other things to the bonnet as well. 
uh, but I'll go over them another time. But first of all, it's going to involve stripes. Um, this bonnet doesn't look too bad, but like I said, I'm trying to make this look my own. So I will be taking this bonnet off and putting the Cooper S bonnet on. There's no difference with it, uh, apart from the big bonnet scoop there, which is for the supercharger. While we're on this end of the car, this grill, I found online you can get like a gloss black and a matte black version of these grills. So these are easy. It's just a couple of nuts and bolts inside that pops off. Under here, this pops off and you can put a nice matte black, you know, matte black or gloss black grill. Uh, obviously, all this chrome, all this chrome is too much chrome for my liking. But I'm going to remove, remove these and spray these and spray these and also on the back bumper that's going to be sprayed so judging by looking at uh, what i can do with this what's possible it's all all adds up nicely all right looking on the inside of the boot while we're at this end of the car uh, came with the 6 cd multi-changer i've also got the head unit uh, that's at home uh, judging by the state of these plastics it it has been used really well but there is a couple of mods i can do in here maybe an led uh light there you know get that fitted eventually <laughs> now that's going in my other car but uh this is some materials for this for the job i want to do and that's nothing so the back the back end of the car is not too bad let's go and have a look on the inside now onto the window, uh, unfortunately recently a stone chip, stone chip here and it's cracked the window and it's going up, up there, I think it might be a creeping crack so I'm going to have to get onto my insurance company and see if they can sort me out a window, uh, This it needs a window anyway because it's scratched here from where the wipers have rubbed, uh, so that's an easy fix, £100, take that off, take the camera off there which uh, it's a dash, I've got a dash cam on, it's an x base one, really good little camera, definitely worth the money. Back to the windscreen, yep, so this needs, I need a new windscreen. Uh, while we're on this side of the car as well, uh, this doesn't feel clever, it's a bit loose. So I'm going to see if there's a repair, maybe it's something as simple as just a nut that needs tightening, or maybe it's just broken and i need to get a new one uh these window caps i'm actually thinking of getting the black versions of these and just take the whole thing off because then if i've got black as well it kind of marries up with the way the styling i'm going for now another thing i want to point out is all this chrome here you can get covers for so i'm not going to pull the doors apart just to change this i can just put some covers on and it'll look all right uh this on the other hand the chrome trim i'm going to keep this i'm going to keep this because it's a nice little dividing line plus a little bit of chrome's okay when it's like this where it's been thrown up on yeah you need you need to have something to break it up so this this little bit of chrome is fine but all of this and all on the front and on the rear bumper that's going now just going around to the rear rear wiper this doesn't work I don't know why it doesn't move or anything so what i'm going to do is quite simply check the motor if the motor's not working if the motor's fine check the fuse and then just replace the whole thing i'm not going to delete the rear wiper because i do actually use them uh, this rear windscreen has also got scratches but it's the rear it's not too bad it's the front that's the worry <sighs> Right, now we're on the inside of the car, and to be quite fair, the inside of the car is fine. Now, it's got these really nice leather seats. You know, the original leather seats and full leather in the back, and I like these. These are not going. These are, I'm keeping these. Um, there is a couple of things I have changed already. Um, first of all, Bluetooth head unit. So this has got Bluetooth, uh, it's got NFC, it's got AUX, it's got everything. And it's a really solid radio. Very happy with it so far. Like I say, it's a very solid radio. It looks nice, and it's actually, with it being a matte black 
with a bit of shiny bits. I like that. It, it kind of goes with what's already here. That was the whole point of me choosing this head unit over something that is bright and it just throws rainbow colours at you, which are not necessary. Uh, other things I'm actually planning on replacing is this. Now, there's nothing wrong with this plastic. It's actually in really good condition. Um, my only problem with it is it's too bright. I want it a little bit darker. So again, going to go to the Cooper S. They actually have like a, a slightly darker version of this. So that's this is coming out and that's going in. And I will do little bits as we go along around here. But for now, uh, the gear knob, very functional. It's been used. Don't forget this car is very high miles. I'll go through that in a minute. But looking at the looking at the plastics itself, it's wear, wearing its miles really well. One thing it's not wearing its miles really well is this. This is the horrible two spoke. I don't like this at all. Now the R fifty six, which is from two thousand and six to about twenty fourteen, I think it was. This had a standard nice three spoke. Now that's what I'm going to go for. So I'm going to find a three spoke and I'm going to fit it on here. Because you can you can replace the plastics on that to the darker tone, darker tone, which is fine. Uh, speaking of darker tones, I'm going to keep the door cards as they are because again, I like a bit of contrast. Now, one of persistent problem I've had with the Cooper since I've owned it is finding a, a good, reliable phone stand. Now, at the moment, I've got this attached to the window, and when I'm driving around. It does that it's useless it just bounces and bounces and bounces so i'm actually looking for a way to actually fit a phone stand to this area here now once i get the cooper what i can do with this is i can use this as a sacrifice and actually find a way to stick something to it or screw something to it where the phone can be used on a on a bevel but it doesn't bounce off or anything i've tried adhesives and to be honest the adhesives are not working i've tried suction which is that this works just as fine so for the time being i'm using that another mod in while we're inside is this space here i want a glove box now again with the plastics i got got getting for this I found a glove box that go, will go here nicely and I can use that to, for extra storage. However, under here, just move my retro sunglasses, under here there's actually a nice shelf. Now I like the shelf here because then I can just chuck my phone or chuck whatever underneath there and it's fine. Because uh, if you, you can get something that goes here where it just kind of dresses up the, this part here. But you lose its whole length of shelf, so I'm not going to put that there. I'm going to leave that as is. Um, one thing I do like about this, I just want to point out, is these door pockets are absolutely cavernous. You just can't stick anything. You can't stick any drinks in there. But at least you got got door pockets there. Um, going down here, uh, there is an additional thing that I've put in, which is this. So. This is giving me extra USB socket there and two, two 12 volt sockets here. Now, this one is my phone charger, so it's a fast charger. So I've got my USB C and my USB 1. So that's all good there. These switches here, fantastic. You know, but one thing I'm going to do, which I forgot to mention on the front of the car, is I'm going to put spotlights. I'm going to put some spotlights on there and I'm going to make them be able to turn on with this switch here. So this is a blanking plate. Normally in the Cooper S, you have a traction, I believe it's a traction control. So I'm going to try and find another one of these switches somewhere, harvest it and put it in, into there and use that for the lights, you know, for the front fogs. Uh, obviously, I've still got all of the switch gears here for windows and all sorts and central locking. So the, that's the only addition I'm going to do on this one. But I think this blanking plate I'll need to drill out, but... I'll have to do a bit of research on that. Uh, you've got a few plans in the works. Got a, so I plan to actually document this for myself. So these videos will probably be on YouTube or my Instagram. But the idea is it's just so that I can document what I've actually done to the car. So, so far, as you've seen, I've only changed the head unit 
added a few little things here. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be a marathon, not a sprint. So I'm not going to be going out buying all the parts, buying all the materials to do the mods I want to do. But I do actually have a list of things I want to do. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, follow me on my Instagram, which is uh, listed down below and also on screen. And thank you very much for watching.